hello there. We are back. Do you hear this fool eating the apples in the background? Chew with your mouth closed. Jeez. Trying to make an intro here. This dude just chewing in my ear. Anyways. We are back. Um... God, this room looks gorgeous. Doesn't it look gorgeous? Anyways. Uh, let's do some awesome missions. Alright. No fair, peeves. You got a head start. What's that? Nothing. Nothing. This has got to be the most dangerous class, by the way. I'm gonna climb up that ladder. Uh, it's dark time. Advance. Yes. Oh, hello. oh, see how they populated in there? Look at that. You got these kids gambling at a uh, young age, too. There's some uh, blackjack. She's like, uh, yeah, you poor fool. Tell me, Professor, what's my future? Hers doesn't look satisfying at all. I hate to see a creature get put. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Liar. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious. Based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? I see... Triumph? Danger? Power? I see it all, right? With triumph comes danger. With danger comes the power to overcome it. Triumph. There will be hardship, I'm sure. I'll be winning. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little, uh, P. You have it. That's now, a little, uh, why not practice the new spell on the training domain? Um, that may appear like a down like, but I need you to up like this video. Okay, where am I going to put this one now? It's too much shit.
Where's this? Where's this dummy? Nowhere up here? Because there's no fucking room up here. There's no room. Is this training dummy? Oh my gosh. Oh well, whatever. Whatever, we don't care. Let's just, uh... Let's get on with it. We can throw people on the ground, that's cool. Uh... Let's go ahead and see how we can arrest momentum. Two favorite statues. What, what do you got for me this time, huh? Yeah, beat his ass. Little lame. Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? I have. Teach me. back, Professor. Assignment's all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Mm-hmm. That's an M for momentum. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible, perhaps before you leave here. Okay, what else we got? So we've been in competition. All right, let's go show Imelda how to race broom, and then we'll do the Shadow of the State. Because, you know, this chick always talking to crap. Always talking to crap. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Hold on. I'm gonna whoop up on this chick real quick, too. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for someone as caught? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until. Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? No, I would like to hear the story. Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Was those like gravity fields or something? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Oh shit! Yeah, no kidding. Hmm. Okay, so he's gonna pull it straight towards the center, so maybe I can arc this dude around.
that. Oh. You have to do better than that. Oh, it's not looking good, guys. I'm gonna lose this one. Shut it, Samantha. Just gonna pull it hard. Pull it hard. Oh my god, stop. Uh, yeah, I was just getting of warmed course. up. Just gravity. getting warmed up. You know, the gravity threw me off. I had a little dust in my eyes. May have been a little, little distracted by Samantha over here. You know, and 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 the and the kites. You know, they also pretty over here. So I'm gonna do just like her. I'm gonna pull this one straight through. There we go. There we go. That was sensational. Oh, thank you. Oh, you suck. You suck. I will pull this one straight through here. Get in there. How am I to top that? Ah, you shit. What was I thinking? All right, but I just gotta, I just gotta score some points on this one. That's it. So that should do. Right there. Mm-hmm. So he told you that first one was a warm-up. After your poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. It appears I overestimated myself. You know. You know, I I, I come uh, I perform well in the uh, latter rounds. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Hmm. Hmm. Feels good. Feels good to win. Back to Melda. Where was I going? Where is this chick? It's like at a new court, right? Yeah. Way the hell down here. Okay. That's what flew here. Mm-hmm. Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Mm -hmm. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. I can respect that. You know, at least she's shown that maybe I'm I'm good for something.
Come on, baby, come on. Not really, because I'm still trailing. Go! Fuck, missed that one. Flying mechanics aren't the best, but you know, getting it. Boost through this one. Fuck! Three second penalty? Fuck. Alright, alright, alright. I'm, I'm, I'm still ahead of. What's up? What's up? Even with the three second, I pushed the wrong button on that last ring. Dang it! You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking like from experience. you. Ha! Yeah, yes, he well, did. I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But. You'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time. I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Mm -hmm. Another mm -hmm. successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Yes, indeed. All the loots. Is there a floof over here? Floof down there. Field guys. A floof there. I'm gonna get this floof here so I can come back. After I get this field guide. Revelio. Where's it at? I should investigate. What am I missing? Dude. Come there. There we go. Nice. Oh, uh, that looks like a Merlin's trial. Done it. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Bust these up. Uh, those three. Where's the other ones? There they are. I think I can reach them from here. Nice, nice, nice. 
Really got to figure out what to do with these eggs. There's one down there. A couple of them down there. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. These people must be wondering why I'm like upsetting their peaceful village with all my confringo action. Okay, not gonna talk to that chick because I'm coming to get this floof. Yeah. Another floof around here somewhere. So easy to just fly everywhere and you kind of miss um, a lot of what's going on on the land if you're just to walk it, you know? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see if this dude's selling a cool broom or something or chick hello do you have anything for sale hello it's not often i see how good students say during school year i'm priya treadwell at your service and i sell a variety of traveling necessities what do you have for sale let's have a look shall we yeah another broom there Antique broom. That other one the guy had seemed way more badass, so. Yep, don't care. So nice of you to stop by. Okay, loof. Yeah. Interesting that it's inside. Oh. Spitchwick, sorry to upset your home here. Come barging in. I would appreciate a little help if you've a moment. No, I don't. Sorry. I'm not much of a helper, you know? I got things to do. There's another one. Uh, where's this at? Where's the... Oh, I'm gonna go talk to that dude. But, since I'm out here, I'm gonna go do this one here instead. The, uh, Shadow of the State. Bam. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Sorry for anybody I froze over there. Think we can go up and over, or is it gonna make, make me go around? Probably make me go around, but. Let's just see. Oh, nope, I already see it. There's the wall. Button. 
<laughs> ah, there's so much to do and see around here. See, that looks tempting as well. So many caves. I don't know about you guys, but even though I know there's probably nothing miraculous in those caves, I'm or dungeons or you know what I mean weird little basements and crap like there's like a lot of them there huh uh, I'm like a sucker for her. just not even doing the main missions and just being like what's this what's this and Doing stupid crap that fills up my gear slots with just more crap that I don't need. Uh, I see. Field guide. Oh, yeah. Revelio. Uh, yeah. Uh. Lives here. And there's a floof out here as well. From Feldcroft in an instant. Oh, thank you. That's wonderful. Because this is way the hell out here. Oh, you shit. Should about wind up his robe. <laughs> Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. Them I bastards. Heard goblin referred to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. Okay. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Okay. No, please, after you, you know. It's your house. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... What I think it is. We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. Man, she's in a bad way. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lee. Damn. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, excuse me while I get this field guide. Sorry. Rebellion. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone for a second, Sebastian. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. Mr. Swallow. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. 
He thinks he can help Anne, but nothing can be done for her. Mm, that's not anger, I'm gonna see. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves anytime soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalist's way. Mm. Like being a coward once you swallow your pride and uh, help your daughter. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. Mm. It's rough, though. He just cares about his daughter. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Mm. Well, I can put her at ease for now. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Mm hmm After I, uh, you know, snoop a little bit. All right, Sebastian, let's go uh, kick some goblin ass. Sister. And, you know, find this cure. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. Hmm. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up, 
both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Yep, yep, let's go kick their asses. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. It's generally what we always have to do in games, right? Is beat the asses of the people who are bad. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. Hmm. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ram mm. Rock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard. It is assholes. Assholios. Oh, fucker. Oops. Wrong button. Oh, what? Fuck you. Can't fucking see what's going on here. Oh, this this one looks a little bigger than the others. Full two inches bigger. Ow. Fuck you. Hi, bitch. Mm. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Don't need any warning. These dudes just all over the place. They're like flies on shit. Loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. 
before my uncle and I could stop her, and rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Hmm. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific Rebellion. reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard the goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Parkour. Parkour. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Hmm. Lame school robe. Money, 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 money. Revelio. This well looks familiar. Really? Oh, oh, I know where I'm at. Yep, it's from the vision, right? Um, was it Rat? Not Ran Rock. Um, the main guy, whatever, right? He was overlooking this thing. Oh, uh, maybe we sh maybe he was cursed with the same curse that um what's her face was her father's before. was cursed with the well the view what do you mean when give me a moment i'll explain in a second Rebellion. so there's got to be a way to reverse the curse right Dude, how do I... What am I doing here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> there's, shit, there's a door there. This whole time. Oh my gosh. Just ignore that, guys. You didn't see anything. Sebastian. Over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Hmm. Okay. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. Mm -hmm. You missed a lot, sure sir. You are gone for a while. Yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. 
you can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Mm-hmm. Look mm -hmm. at this. Mm-hmm. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Guardian Leviosa. Oh. Get shit out of the way. Huh, a stairwell. Oh. Look at that. Man, look at that uh, geometry down there with the fog. Beautiful. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. That seems important. After something bigger. Oh, fuck. This is my second week in the camp. We we'll arrive each day. The Muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all that they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them, but as it would to be rid of them for their turmoil. Rid them of their torment. Can't read. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. I'm not gonna read that. Too much read. Entries are from Isadora's travels. Oh, here I'll just let me just run. You know those those videos online where those dudes run through walls. Ah. Oh, it's close. Watch, ready. Ah. I don't. I don't. I don't have a fo football helmet on. Lumos. Go away, demons. Where's that statue again? You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Where are you? Are you stuck? What's going on here, sir? I know it sounds strange, but honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient. What is this camera angle? But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Yeah, Wait. look at that wall. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell <laughs> anyone else about this for now. <laughs> these camera angles block my beautiful oh, face. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we come. My thoughts exactly, Sebastian. I'm tempted to hold my breath. I would. I feel like it would stink down here. Uh. Ow. Like swampy. With all those vines, you know. It's like moist. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, 
book. Aha! I knew that was something, didn't I call it? However many videos ago. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Looks like ancient magic, ancient magic, tic-tac-toe, uh, compass, more ancient magic. Anything helpful in the notes? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Hmm. Incendio. Not sure. Hmm. Okay. That's all we got, huh? Alright, let's go sweep the competition then. Talk to him. Oh, but... Uh, where'd the fluff go? Stop it. Maybe get a new broom upgrade. Back from your latest flight. Mm -hmm. I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. It does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. You know those ugly sweaters during Christmas time, like ugly sweater competitions. Mr. Weeks and I do make. Mr. Albie's wearing that. Alright, what else we got here? Ten astronomy class. Speak with Sebastian. Hi, Keith. So I tell you what, 
We're going to attend astronomy class. I feel like it's going to be the most straightforward and then it'll probably unlock um, some other missions. So that is what we will do. Um, it's always hard seeing. Uh, looks like there's a floof in there, but I can't get to it. So I have to run to it. Oh my gosh. What's closest? I don't know. What am I doing? Oh, begin. There we go. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Look at this badass walking in. Only one not wearing a robe. Lady. Like all these lamos. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Nice. That's cool. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. <laughs> Why do you look so surprised? <laughs> Here, I can adjust that for No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Is that in focus? I don't know. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh! Hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, nah. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. I can't do that, I'll meet. You might need it. No, really, you can. And I won't. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course no. you have. It's only the I mean, yes. of all sure, yeah, I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some uh Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Hmm. Hmm. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. All of good that did. Can I look out this one? Oh. 
Revelio. Find a stargazing instrument of its kind. Perfect viewing the moon and the stars. Anything else one might find in the night sky. How about that? Can you tell me about this? Our meat thinks he knows everything. Even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. I mean, the name of it sounds like gibberish. I had heard about these odd stone tables out in the Highland. Perhaps that's what Professor Shah was talking about. Hmm. Revelio. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. Hmm. Okay. Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars he wants us to chart. <sighs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. I mean, I suppose if it wasn't so cold, but. Where's this, uh. Revelio. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, guys. Steam night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. I think this is where we'll end this video. So I'm sure you can tell me some. Perfect night for. Oh, hello again. Probably gonna tell me some crap that uh, is gonna kick off a whole slew of other stuff. But hello, Al. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Look into my eyes. Tell me all your secrets. Tell me, how doth the, uh, the cool night air feel upon, upon your feathers? So majestic you are. What wisdom can you share with me? Hmm. Okay. Anyways. I'm gonna end it right here with this nice view. And we'll pick it up in the next one. But I think we had quite uh, an adventure today, right? Uh, did some learning. Um, we flew really fast, proved that our boosters on our, uh, our broom worked. And now we'll get to hear from a bit and hopefully we'll learn a little bit more about uh, Sebastian's sister in the next one. So. Uh, wherever you guys are in the world, hope you have a good day, have a good night, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.